Hello, this is GeoTechLand, and today I'll be running SEMU version 1.15.2D here on Linux using Wine. And so overall, there isn't too much difference from the last time I ran this. There had been a couple updates to Mesa and to the kernel and to obviously SEMU itself. But I thought it was time to just show off how it's doing here. Before we get started though, I'll show you the settings I have here for the games I'll be running. So for the graphics, I think I have tweaked the upscale filter and downscale filter, but nothing that makes too much of a difference. Everything else I kind of leave as is. Audio, I, I do up the volume here, but otherwise leave everything untouched. And I do leave it as single core. Changing it to triple core has not done anything for me. Everything else is pretty much as is. And so let's get started. So starting with Super Mario 3D World. The game itself has always ran fine since the very beginning. And so in this version of Semu, there's not much... Um, it's not much difference, it runs at full speed here, even when recording, it actually runs pretty much at max FPS here. The game itself hasn't never been too demanding. And moving on to Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, this game um, it actually runs better on Linux here. On Windows, it can lag a little bit more and it can get somewhat glitchy, especially like the Donkey Kong character itself. And here you really don't run into those issues. And surprisingly, it is also largely unaffected by recording. Uh, the only thing I noticed is that during the intro, the intro itself, it's just like glitchy, visually glitchy. It's not really watchable. You can hear it, but not something you can really watch and enjoy. That may be the only negative here, comparing it to how it runs on Windows. But other than that, it's pretty playable. So moving on to Mario Kart 8, this game itself, um, it for the most part stays at max uh, FPS, but it does dip uh, pretty frequently. And this is one of those games that is affected by the recording. It'll get more closer to 50 FPS with recording, so don't take this performance that you see here as its actual performance. Other than that, it does have some visual glitches when it's when you're picking the character. You won't see the cart and the character himself. So that's the only thing to keep in mind. And moving on to Breath of the Wild, it also stays the same as last time. Your performance still stays at around 20 FPS. So still is looking all dark and black. I'm not sure why. So it still suffers from that visual glitch. Semi hook, you do have to do it a very certain way. I'll do a video on that because that's a bit more advanced. I usually like to keep it very simple. I think I will do a video on how to get semi hook running on Zelda. I've been, I haven't been too motivated to do it because I think even if I get it working and I get some nice FPF boost, I, I may still have to deal with this um, visual black glitch here. So. But that could be something coming down the line there. Other than that, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you guys have any suggestions about running Semi on Linux, let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time.